welcome from New York. And will you also welcome, please, someone who's not very easily able to visit us in London at the moment. Will you welcome, please, Mr. Muhammad Ali. Welcome. I was reading a piece in England just before I came over which described you as the former heavyweight champion of the world. But is that a description you'd accept with the word former or X in it? Well, I don't make an argument over the thing because it would cheapen myself. Uh, <clears throat> I know that I had to beat Sonny Liston twice. I like to apologize for my, for my voice. I have a cold, you know, this flu is going around. I'm catching it. Uh, but I beat the best at England had to offer Germany, Canada, and America. Undefeated in all of my professional fights. Two-time United States Golden Glove champion. Two-time United States uh, AAU champion and world Olympic gold medal winner. Unscratched and unmarked by human. So uh, I pay no attention to a few cigar smoking, dried up uh, <laughs> uh, people, you know. So. Uh, the world knows that I am the champion. I have a belt at home saying, defeated Sonny Liston February the 25th, 1964. And traditionally, I have the same belt that Joel, Joe Lewis had, uh, Gene Tooney, John L. Sullivan, Jack Dempsey, Rocky Marciano, Jack Johnson. And they have a saying here in America that you can only lose the belt in the rain, regardless to what you believe, your religion, you only so you can lose it in the rain. But when someone comes up to you in the street and says, hi, champ, which I know they do, do you say yes, or do you say, no, 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 that's Jimmy Ellis now? I just say, hi, how are you? Yeah. Well, I mean, Jimmy, Jimmy Ellis is my sparring partner. <laughs> <laughs> he was my hard hand. Yeah. Yeah. He did once beat you, didn't he? Years and years and years and years and years ago. Twelve years old as amateurs. He beat me and I beat him. But uh, I have nothing against none of these boys. They need to make a living. And I made my stand for my religious beliefs. And I'm not crying. I'm not protesting. I knew what they would do. As a matter of fact, that's why they drafted me, was to get the title. They knew that I wasn't going to the Army. For two years, the draft board, they said I was crazy. They didn't want me. I was uh, mentally unfit. Then when they heard my religion was Islam, I was a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and I was a Muslim, then that shook them. And they changed the law mainly just to get me. Uh, they had to find a way to take the title. They couldn't just deliberately take it. So uh, that would cause too many racial problems. So they had to figure out a legal way to get it. So this, knowing that Muslims don't go to the army, knowing that I wasn't going to go, uh, they figured that if they draft me, then they could brainwash the masses, the people, into thinking that I wouldn't serve my country. But do you think Washington would go along with the plans of the World Boxing Association? Yes, Washington, Washington is the ones that's keeping me from fighting.